you can see I found this scorched desert which is extremely close to its sun uh, I thought it was pretty cool I mean look how close it is you can see the sun on the horizon of the planet all the way around so and obviously it's extremely bright and um, well scorching hot a thousand and hundred degrees Celsius so I think that sort of explains what that's about even like obviously it's gonna be I imagine filled with um, lava and parts and stuff so it is a pretty cool looking planet though just on its own uh, if you ignore the sun because you can see like half and half you know the dark side anyways there's a whole bunch of planets here which are actually pretty like pretty close to the sun um, but the re reason I was trying to find or looking through this solar system was so I could find a temperate Terra because I think uh, I want to see another one of the ooh, another one of those. However, I'm having really trouble finding it. Uh, oh, a warm Terra. I guess that's gonna work. Well, that's Scorch Desert, Scorch Selena. Whoa, what's up with this warm Terra? Cold Selena, Frozen Ice World, Frozen Titan. I guess the Warm Terra is the closest thing we're going to get. Which is just right there. Let's go to it then. Whoa. Oh, it's sort of like an ocean world almost. That's pretty cool. And it's got rings. That's always nice. Ooh, and the rings have a shadow. That's the best kind of ringed planet. Uh, it's got a moon as well. We can check that out first. It's got two moons, actually. And again, something I think is fascinating about this is just that everything is like, or most of the things in the uh, engine are completely simulated, or sorry, uh, procedurally made so that you can actually like oh, zoom in. And if you see an interesting feature to you, you know, it'll it'll actually be there, and I think that's that's a pretty neat thing. So, like, this seems to be a canyon. So, uh, obviously, while I'm recording, it's going to load in a little bit slower, but it'll actually be there in scale as we zoom in closer, and as it, the textures load in. You know, it's it's actually like somewhere you can go along and. see that mark from space and obviously huge craters like this are gonna be there as well and, you know they're just they're just chilling they're just chilling there's the sun well, that's that's you know this this is just like a, a barren moon just like a, ours a little bit uh, although ours is ours is special ours is home so you know uh, but yeah, it's got three moons actually. Oh my bad. It's got an asteroid as well orbiting it. Anyways, let's take a look at the planet itself. Uh, it looks like it's got rivers and stuff. However, no life. And uh, it is at 91 degrees Celsius. So uh, not quite boiling point for us yet. But uh, very, very close. Let's go in and maybe uh, let's take a look at one of these rivers a little. I don't know why this planet. This planet seems to have a odd, an odd coloring of its land for some reason. Oh my God, it's also got a very bright sheen on the water. Apparently, when I look over it, let's take a look at. Oh, there we go, a volcano. That's pretty cool. Actually, does it come out uh, on top of the clouds? Uh, oh, it does, just barely. It's pretty cool. Take a screenshot of that screenshot moment I love when the volcanoes are really high and then you've got the rings as well over there look at that and I imagine let's see if uh, speed up time a little bit here whoa 
whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's too much. Too quick. Oh, clouds. Really? I was trying to look at the night sky. Again, clouds. I love how weather is simulated, though. It's, like, pretty cool. All right, here we are. Transitioning into night. That's so cool. Wow. Take a screenshot of that. That looks really cool. Oh, and then the rings. I'm I don't know why, but I'm just obsessed with the rings in this game. They just look so good. Uh but then again, a lot of a lot of stuff in this game looks really good. So it's got some planes as well. See, I think the ring is casting a shadow. Or is that part of the atmosphere? Oh, can't see anything. Whoops. Yeah, it looks it looks like a really cool planet. Uh, I'm gonna try and find something with life, hopefully, in a second. Uh, but first, I wanna see if there's anything else we should take a look at. Is that, are those craters or are those like? Oh, that seems to be something else. Is it? Water or is it? I don't get what it is. This water seems to be covering up around me. Huh. Oh, and then it's got a big ocean, which we are under. Um, that's a pretty cool picture, actually. I'm going to take that. Uh, Alright, let's see. What else? Hmm. Let's try and find a planet with life then. Uh, this this planet is just a little bit. Oh, hold on. A volcano in the middle of water. That's pretty interesting. It's like an island volcano. Yeah, I apologize if it, it it's running a little bit slowly, but the action of writing on the hard drive and then taking from it as well. Uh, it's quite tolling. It's quite tolling and recording. You know all that stuff. But this is a pretty cool volcano. Anyways, let's try and find some life. Uh, filter settings. Uh, should we have... Let's try and find some life. On a temperate terra. This is going to be tough. I, th I think um, planets with life are pretty rare in this. Oh, but we are finding some. Three! In that system, that's impressive. Alright, so we're finding 35, 41, 43, 48. Uh, so out of a thousand systems, or since search radius is a thousand light years, but out of 10,000 systems, we've got 59. And one has five planets with life. Right, let's see what that one has. It's binary star system. Uh, frozen ice chasm. That's annoying. That it doesn't just tell me the planet. Okay, let's check out um, the solar system's planets. So it's got a hot desert, two hot deserts. Uh, cold Selena. Cool. I mean, warm Oceania with life. All right, let's take a look at that. Organic multicellular marine life. Oh, again, this is one of those really cool uh, storm worlds where it's got like a permanent storm on it. Man, that's awesome. I love those. Uh, let's take a look at the inside, though. Oh. Is it completely covered? Like, can you not? Oh, no. It's just a very, wow, very deep ocean. I suppose it would be a very deep ocean, though, if it were just purely in Oceania. Is that what it's called? Oceania? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I think so. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Not bad. I will take that. Um, I was hoping for a planet with uh, land on it. So let's let's take a closer look at some of these other ones. 
cold ice giant with life. Uh, we all know what ice giants look like. Uh, that's some surprise that it has life, though. So let's go to the other star. Maybe that one has him. Has a uh, Terra. Um, hot Selena. Warm gas giant. Here we go. Temper Terra with life. Organic, multicellular life, marine, and terrestrial. Oh, but uh, oh my! It's again, again. It's one of those really cool storm planets. And these always have those that cutoff point right there. So the planet is at 12 degrees Celsius, which is just normal, I guess, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, it orbits in 19 days. It rotates in 19 days. Uh, let's see here. Its atmosphere is 0.129 of our atmosphere. Uh, that's that's wow. That's I could see life. I could see life living on this planet, and it's got both marine and terrestrial. So if we ever find that, this is like a the small volcano where life would belong. Then imagine it's more here towards. Uh, although would would life really be living on the dark side of a planet? I doubt it. Just because of. Uh, well, you know why. Just seems like it'd be a lot colder on the dark side of a planet. Uh, but I imagine it's, it lives mostly here. So let's turn around here. This looks like an interesting place. Ooh. What are these formations? That looks cool. Well, let me just go back a little bit. Here we go. They're like plateaus like step plateaus which increase in uh, in height sort of in parts I don't know how to say that pretty tall mountains here ooh this is a cool canyon actually look at this wow and you got the river flowing through in a curvy pattern that's pretty cool I like that and you've got the sun on there as well I could see life living here, like, oh, yeah, going through the river, uh, whatever it may be. Obviously, it wouldn't be any anything that we have over here at home, but just thinking about, I mean, it's such an abstract thing to think about, though, if you uh, think about it, haha. -ha. <laughs> but if, if you consider that uh, anything we find outside of our solar system, uh, or planet, actually, even, uh, that life will not look like whatever we have here so we'll never find you know a dog or a sheep or cows or whatever in, in, in any other alien planet it would all be something new something I imagine this is probably where the marine life lives by the way in like this water uh, but it would probably be something new something that we've never really seen before and uh, I mean that that sounds pretty interesting is this a volcano or is it a mountain that no, looks like a volcano actually Yeah, I mean that's pretty pretty impressive. And all these planets seem to have really big volcanoes too, like not not like ours. Our volcanoes are nothing compared to these volcanoes. Well, maybe maybe they are. I'm not I've never really taken a look at our volcano volcanoes from um from a satellite point of view. So, if you know or if I'm wrong, correct me, please. <laughs> Anyways, this is a pretty pretty cool looking planet. Looks like this is pretty, where it uh, sets, the sun sets around. And it's got just like that little bit of land here on the on the sides or on the borders, not under the storm, I guess. Is there some land in the, oh actually it does appear, whoa. Oh, that's it, we're in the middle of the ocean. Whoa! Now we're under the storm. I wonder what it would be like under a storm like this. I don't think it'd be very friendly to people or things. Imagine it'd be quite hostile. I don't think there's probably not any land living in here, which is pretty pretty near the center of the storm, I guess. Let's see if we could look in, inside the eye of the storm. Oh, that's really creepy. What? That always creeps. Creeps me out. 
looking inside the eye of a storm. Cause like, imagine all the chaos going around it, you know? I'm gonna try and look up here. Uh, see if we can see through the eye. Okay, yeah, so, oh, are we, are we close to the surface here? Yeah, we are. So, it's looking through the eye. It's actually a huge eye, so I guess we see the clouds around us, but, uh, and we have a pretty open sky, but imagine. I wonder if the effects of the rest of the storm would be also be carrying over into that circle, even though it has clear view. Anyways, this is a really cool, cool planet. Uh, had some temperate asteroids. Just to, just to give you a look at what an asteroid is. Obviously, you guys probably already know, but just in case you don't, pretty cool asteroid. Again, even the asteroids, you know, every crater exists, which I think is pretty neat as soon as the textures pop in, obviously. Uh, but yeah, most most of these craters are actually there, you know, they're, they are rendered into the game, into the game's engine, so they do exist. Uh, and I think that's fascinating. I think that's really, really cool. So... Um, I'm going to try and end this video off by looking at another neutron star and um, see you guys then. So here we are at the neutron star then and uh, I just want to say before we go that uh, uh, thanks so much for all the views I've been getting and stuff and the likes. It's been uh, really cool. All the people leaving comments um, explaining you know, scientific stuff and just having conversation is really awesome to see. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I hope I can uh, sort of get uploading again. But, you know, you know how life is. Uh, and, yeah, so this is a Neutron Star. I tried for a while to find one with a, a cooler effect, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. So if anyone knows Space Engine uh, better than I do, which is probably everyone, then uh, make sure to, to tell me how I can find one of those or I can edit my settings in order to have the Neutron Star uh, look cool with the entire mag magnetism effect and stuff. Anyways, that's going to be for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, and Whoop. thank you for watching.